So this should be fun. We're going to talk about Joe Biden and those top secret documents. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. A ton of you are watching, but you're not subscribing. So please. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. What is going on? Okay, this is the last thing any of us wanted to hear. We didn't want to hear, we never expected to hear, how could Joe have documents? Did somebody plant them? I mean, were they not there? Is that some kind of sneaky thing? Have they checked to see if what's in the documents corresponds to when he was might have been in office to sneak them over to his house? I mean, what's going on? So there's lots to ask about that, and uh, we're going to ask. I mean, what other cards could I use except these? So Mystical Medley's uh, cartoon, a vintage cartoon tarot. Love, 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 love these cards. And uh, I'll tell you about them at the end of the video. Uh, and you should, you should watch because there's a lot of cool things uh, in here about these cards. Uh, but uh, what I do want to let you know is that, <laughs> look at that, is that um, I am hoping that this will give us some, I'm just having time with these cards. This is a cartoon in itself. I'm hoping that this will give us some answers. You know, how could this happen to Joe? How could this happen to us? On the other hand, I mean, what better way to show the contrast into how things were handled by uh, Trump and how things are handled with this uh, legitimate president? So, yeah, that's what I want to. I want to know. Uh, was he just sloppy? I want to know were the documents planted? Um, and anything else that comes to mind. I mean, uh, maybe you can send me uh, the message uh, that I will ask. So, yeah, I want to know how in the world could this happen? And six years. I mean, maybe longer. Um, we'll see, but let's, let's ask, do a little, uh, meditation, uh, before we do anything else. Okay. So. Um, you know, I can see it happening because at the time, six years ago or longer, um, there, none of this sort of thing was on anyone's mind. I mean, we as a people and those folks in power trusted that the system in place would not let some silly thing like this happen. In my mind, here's what I can imagine. I can imagine Joe uh, being at his house for some kind of a meeting and taking work home. And I'm sure at the time his house was approved to have that stuff there. And on the way in uh, with his secret service agents, uh, someone makes a mention of his car. Maybe the garage was open and he says, oh yeah, you wanna see it? Come on. And uh, so he, uh, he's got a cabinet back there. He uh, is carrying some documents with him. He sticks the documents in the cabinet. He uh, locks it because it has a lock. And then he pulls the car out to show off his beautiful a Corvette. And then, um, you know, if that takes uh, half an hour or whatever, maybe let somebody drive it around the, the ground, who knows. And then uh, in the end, uh, you know, you forget about the documents and you forget about the documents and you forget about the documents, you know. So I can see it happen, but then for it to happen again in another location and more documents and again uh, at the office that he was using after uh, he was um, vice president, and I don't know if he was using that office at all when he was uh, vice president, but yeah, I can see all of that uh, happening, 
and Donald is just, if he's not somewhat connected somehow, uh, I don't know how else a lot of this stuff can get explained because he is protected. And I'm, I tell you what, I've thought for a long time that he's got some sort of a, a connection that he may or may not even know that he has. So maybe I'll, if I remember, I'll ask that too. But, but first, let's uh, talk about Joe. Okay, so let's ask the first question. Were these documents planted? Let's take one card first. Were these documents planted? Queen of Pentacles. So the queen uh, is the um, not the most um, powerful in the uh, royal suite. Pentacles are money, but value in this case. Uh, the queen is second in charge. Uh, Biden would have been second in charge as vice president. And, um, and here we have the vice president with his value. And nothing else in this card right away makes me um, think about what's happening here. So let's draw two more cards. Next one is the King of Swords. Well, this is this has to be, this could either be uh, Barack Obama as the president at that time, and swords being truth, justice, rules, and law. Uh, butterflies or a rebirth or something new happening. And then the last card for were these uh, uh, planted, remembering the way things were. Now, the one thing that strikes me about this card, if you look at it closely, this uh, tower right here is uh, angry, okay? It's unhappy and it's frowning. It's assumed a position of, of um, you know, unpleasantness. And this little house over here is kind of cowering. Can you see in, in the two little eyes and the little mouth kind of frowning and the posture of this house as if it's kind of bent down and, you know, and unhappy? And, uh, but in the picture here, we have these two cartoon characters. Uh, this is like a ladybug and uh, this little uh, Pinocchio looking figure. You can see his arms are connected together like Pinocchio. And remembering uh, with these cups of compassion how things were in the past, uh, the way things were. So were the documents planted? This doesn't give me any indication whatsoever uh, towards an answer about the documents being planted. What it does speak to is it speaks to that time in the past when Barack was president, when Joe Biden was vice president, and then now hearkening back to that time. And, um, and almost I feel like these uh, two uh, buildings here are like saying, how could you let this happen? How could you have let this happen back then? So I think this happened at that time and it wasn't an accident. I mean, it was an accident, but it wasn't uh, planted. So, okay, so uh, the documents were not planted, according to the cards, according to my reading of the cards. And I can't handle these cards today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Now, uh, let's see. Um, was there any malicious intent for uh, these documents being there on the, on the part of Joe Biden? Was there any malicious, nefarious, nefarious is probably a better word. Was there any nefarious intent for those documents being there back then when he was vice president? Uh, let's try it with one card again. Any nefarious intent? The magician. Well, this is interesting. Um, this is interesting. It makes me think... Uh, that um, the magician is the card. It helps me to talk about the card. So the magician is the person in the royal suite who has all the tools of the trade at his uh, disposal. He's got the wand, he's got the sword, he's got the cup, he's got the pinnacle. And uh, so this is the magician. Was there any nefarious intent? Next card up is the ace of wands. Actions, plans. Um, this kind of uh, disturbed... Um, confused looking um, um, ace of plans is here. It almost reminds me of what I was talking about of someone carrying those uh, documents and being a little confused and we all know Joe Biden is known for making some missteps and then the last card for whether there was nefarious intent end of a cycle truth justice rules and law and this guy's got his hands up saying peace or like I give up um, Interesting. Was there nefarious intent? Uh, intent. Okay, so a magic uh, going on here where anything can be made to occur. 
This Ace of Wands, this great big planner, seems to be a little dis disjointed, a little confused, a little uh, haphazard. And then the final uh, card here with this end of a cycle saying, I give up. End of a cycle, I give up. I have to, uh, I'm going to draw one more card. Fairy's Intent, Page of Cups. No, this was a surprise. So uh, the page is the weakest of the royal uh, court. Uh, the cups are emotion and compassion, and this is the surprise coming out having to do with this. Um, I think no. I think what's happening here is this uh, end of cycle is just saying, hey, I was done with all of that. You know, I give up. I was done with all of that. And um, it was just, it was, it, he was as much surprised as anyone else. I want to say that the magic element of this has to do with that um, that element of Trump that I say uh, perhaps has that uh, mystical, magical way of thinking happen, but I don't know. And I'm not 100% satisfied with the way I read these cards, but that's what I'm going to stick with, that no, it was the end of his, his uh, term as vice president back then. He was always been a little bit disjointed. There's a magical element to this of some some way, uh, and, um, and no, it was as much of a surprise to him as it was to anybody else. Let's put these cards in here in some kind of a mixed up fashion because I'm not um, shuffling them very well today. Wow, really not shuffling them very well. Okay, so now we're going to do six cards for a dyadic cross speaking to Wow. Speaking to just this situation. The situation of these documents uh, being uh, there and being found now. What can the cards tell us about that? What can the cards tell us about these documents showing up now? And, um, and what does this mean? Okay. Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Trying real hard not to incorporate my uh, biased brain in this. So, uh, signifier card, uh, tell us about the situation. Okay, so we start out with this uh, Ace of Cups. As you always hear me say, Cups are emotional, compassionate, um, surprises. This little ghost here looks uh, very surprised. That's an emotion. And the Ace of Cups is a great, great big offer of surprise. So the signifier for this reading is this great big emotional surprise that this is. Okay, what's the challenge to that? The challenge to that is this Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a boastful, kind of wishes fulfilled, kind of a... They call it the greedy merchant. And if you look at this card carefully, you can see this little mushroom fella here. He's really happy to celebrate all of the um, of the achievements that he has. So the challenge to this surprise, this great big uh, surprise of what's going on, is this fella here happy to celebrate all of his achievements. So I'm going to say this surprise, the challenge to it, is Biden's um, uh, run of getting a lot done and being kind of proud of that. Uh, displaying all of his trophies. The basis of this reading uh, for um, for these darn documents is the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is that emotional uh, element, that feminine energy of, of compassion is the basis of this whole thing. I want to say this is Jill Biden for some reason. Um, I don't think she's responsible, but uh, I wonder if somehow she was involved in, in a distraction to make this happen. Uh, the past of this reading for, oh, is the devil. So the devil is in the details, uh, being chained to lesser intentions, um, not having pure intentions for what's happening here. And then the sky of this reading uh, for tell us what's going on with these documents is this four of wands and wands are actions plans forward movement and the four of wands are smaller celebrations towards something larger 
and uh, we can see that uh, this larger castle in the back even seems to be a bit distressed. If you look at these two little eyes, that little mouth, um, all of these um, in the back here uh, don't seem to be as participatory in this little celebration as you might think they should be. Even these wands kind of are expressionless. So the sky of this is some sort of expressionless celebration of, of celebratory participation. And then the final outcome of this is uh, the three swords. Well, that's a broken heart. That's easy enough. So the truth, justice, rules, and law. And the outcome of this thing is a broken heart. I think I have to do uh, four more cards to get somewhere with this. And then I'll read the whole thing over again. See if it makes sense. So what can the cards tell us about these documents showing up? They almost aren't speaking to the documents. Hmm. So the very um, self of that question about what can you tell us about this? Page of Swords. So the page is the very weakest of the court cards. Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. And so this is a weak offering of truth. I'm going to have to come back and make this uh, a sentence again in a moment because it's not coming together for me. Ah, and it's in the environment of what? Justice. Okay, now I'm starting to get a thread in my brain. I'll read it to you at the end. So, justice. Uh, the hopes of the fears for all of this is right here, celebratory situations. Now, these uh, remind you of the Dia de las Muertes, the uh, celebration that the... Um, uh, Mexicans have uh, for their uh, departed and it's not a gruesome celebration this is a happy celebration so the hopes of the fears ah okay I'll tell you what it means in, in a second let me finish and then the final outcome for this for uh, this situation is the Ace of Pentacles great big offer value all right here's what I think is going on I believe this has happened karmically to show the balance uh, between what's happened with Trump and what's happened with Joe Biden all right, so we start out here with a, an Ace uh, of Cups as a signifier for this thing. This is going to be, a, this had to be a great big emotional outpouring and a surprise to, to get the attention, uh, get all of our attention. And it's challenged by what? It's challenged by Joe being so uh, maybe smug in his successes as a uh, president displaying his trophies the uh, base of this thing is this queen of cups this is a strong emotional offering coming up to say all right uh this this has to come up now we need to take care of this and now's the time and so the balance of this whole thing is that feminine energy is saying okay let's t use this opportunity that was set in motion way back when karmically set in motion way back when and um, the uh, devil in this uh, uh, situation is being chained to lesser intention. It's uh, intention. It's the braggadocious. It's the overzealous uh, um, feelings that perhaps Trump has. He needs to be brought down, perhaps a peg karmically. Remember, he's at the end of his life. This is the time that he needs to clean up his karmic slate, okay, so that he goes on when he eventually does, which. I don't think it'll be that long uh, with things uh, set uh, right. So that's what this uh, devil in the past is. This uh, needs to start cleaning things up. And in the sky, this thing with this four of wands is that um, this this will eventually be a smaller celebration. Um, and and the fact that the larger celebration is in the in the uh, on the way to that, but it isn't a happy situation. Um, we don't want uh, this sort of thing to keep happening in our government. And then the likely outcome of all of this is that, yeah, there, there is and will be always regarding the situation of broken heart. The self of that question with this page of source is that, you know, we need to give this, uh, this truth, justice, rules, and law that's coming up, this little, a little bit of um, value here. Because the main thing that we need to focus on, the environment that it's in, is getting justice right, getting the scales done. And the hopes, the fears for this is so that when that time comes, when uh, w there's gonna be celebrations regarding this man and his uh, his legacy uh, after he's gone, um, that, that uh, those celebrations will be uh, with a great big ace of a lot of value. So I think this is a karmic cleanup. Uh, it's a dual purpose to show the balance between what happened with Trump and with Biden and to kind of uh, clean up Trump uh, Biden's slate a little bit before he goes on 
to the end where we're all headed. You know, it's not really gross. We're headed there, all of us. So that's what I get out of this reading. Hope it's not too much of a stretch. And tell me what you think, because maybe that'll clear things up for me too. Okay? So if you weren't sure, now you are. And uh, I hope you like the results that we got there. And remember, tell me what you want to me to read on, and I will read on it. I'm working on a video right now. I can still get your questions in. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards okay, now. Okay, so this is a very interesting uh, deck that I have now called Mystical Medleys, a vintage cartoon tarot. This is such a cool deck, and I've had it for a little while. Uh, I, mean, I mean, it's absolutely new, but I've had it for maybe a couple, three weeks practicing with it. And uh, the box is amazing. It's a good, sturdy box. You'd expect uh, you got a nice uh, perfume, uh, perhaps, in a box like this. And this uh, is artwork by Gary Hall. And uh, this is uh, published, I presume, or distributed at least, by Sterling Ethos out of New York. Okay, very interesting minute. What happens is this box opens from the bottom. Okay, so you flip this open and then you have this uh, creature right here, which I've forgotten the name, but I'll see it in a minute because I'm going to look at the guidebook and tell you about it and then bring up the example of it on my phone. But uh, so this is how you open the box from the bottom. That opens down. This slides out. And then now what you have is this inner uh, case with a very faint kind of watermark of this uh, animal on the front. If you look inside the case, and I hope you can see it, uh, inside there is a little uh, star, which for me is temperance, okay? Or it could be the star card itself. It's got two cups, a cup in each hand, which is typical of the star card, finding that balance. And uh, so that's, I love it when they've gone to the trouble to include some little secret uh, treasure for you inside the box. Now, inside here, if you take these cards out, inside this box, we have the sun, okay? So the sun card, I hope you can see that too. Okay, and there's a little watermark on this side. There's none on the other side, and I'll show you why that's important. And the other thing that comes with this card, or uh, this deck, are two extra cards, Sad Squirrel and Happy Squirrel, for divination. And the guidebook tells you how you would divine those, and uh, that brings us to uh, the guidebook. So again, this little creature is a very beautifully done kind of book. And um, so if you gave this as a gift, or if you were getting it as a gift, you'd feel very uh, glad uh, that you got it. And it has a nice introduction here, which is speaking to um, Gary's um, um, inspirations uh, to come in, uh, into this. Uh, uh, and it starts out, like so many good stories, it all started with the devil. And that's what that uh, uh, animal uh, signifies here. Um, I've always been fascinated by magic, the cult, and the imagery of the tarot. I own several decks from the fully usable traditional ones to more modernistic, uh, modern artistic ones, and have always dreamed of creating my own in some way. Now, I want to find the name of this little devil here, and uh, so it's going to take me just a minute to read through this, uh, because, gosh, I can't remember Baphomet. Okay, so the creature that we're looking at, then, is uh, the Baphomet. That's what this guy is. So if you put these together... Right here, you see that is the cartoonish uh, depiction of a Baphomet. And let me show you what a Baphomet is. Let's say define uh, Baphomet. And we'll get a picture here. So this is the Baphomet. And this is a, a deity that supposedly the, um, the Knights of the Templar would have... Um, I don't want to say worshipped, but it had an occultic interest in. And so the first card that Gary Hall created was that uh, Baphomet. And then from that, the rest sprung. So let's see. How am I going to do the rest of this? Yeah. Um, now, the cards themselves are a good way. They're uh, easy to use. They fit well in your hand. But the fantastic thing is how beautiful these cards are. This artist, Gary Hall, has a kind of ropey uh, quality to his art, kind of a, uh, a rubber hose kind of a, an effect. If you look at, like, the arms, and uh, and so that's his uh, style. And, um, and so the cards are very interesting. It took a little bit of uh, studying them before I felt comfortable using them for divination okay there's no reason because they do pretty easily uh they're pretty recognizable as the right weight system but still for whatever reason maybe i was just so distracted by the artwork um i spread the cards out like this so that uh, if you don't get to see a lot of cards then at least you've seen them here and uh, you can decide uh, if these are uh, cards that you like and would like to use. I was always curious to see more than just a few cards that a reader would uh, pull out during the presentation. So there we go. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So, ciao for now.
you really make a big difference. Thank you.